cocktail based on the back of a bottle, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna do a, a apparently on the fly gin tasting. Yep, with a green hook gin, gin smiths, which is a very uh, juniper Flavor. heavy American American gin. Right Good stuff. And that's about it. Keep watching for more. Want to skip ads without hurting my inner child? Head over to Patreon.com/cmc and help fund the show. Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm your host Eric Schober. Today, Tuesday, the first day of the week for cocktails, Ian Andrews and I. That doesn't sound good. Are going to be making a cocktail called the Elder Father Gin and Tonic. Did you actually hit start, or did you just turn it on? Hold on, I'll be right back. Something tells me you didn't actually hit start. So while he's doing the camera, this right. Elderflower uh, tonic that uh, he started carrying at Awesome Drinks, the Jack and Rudy stuff. He's got a few of their products. We we made these for New Year's. These drinks are actually really really good. They are good. They are good. Actually. And it's got uh, looking at the ingredients. The number one ingredient is a quinine concentrate, water, citric acid, sugar, lemongrass, orange peel, and elderflower. It tastes very decent. We had- If you like your gin and tonics, this is a great drink. You know what though? That's all we used. And yeah, we made- A bunch. 12? You, you killed that bottle of gin, right? I got killed a little bottle of gin. Yeah. I thought this so was this a go last year. I thought it was too. Was it too. full though? The gin? It was new. Yeah. Oh, it was Well, the, the bottle we had used it for like a tasting. Yeah. Wow. It was the Plymouth gin. And I, I don't know. I thought this would be gone. Yeah. I brought it over as this is gone. Maybe I'll have a little to do this episode with. <laughs> <laughs> but, but apparently it'll last, last a little while. I mean, because it's only a, so the recipe is two ounces of gin and the three quarters ounce, right? So yeah, with the three much. quarter ounce, you're not getting a lot of need. Like it's two to two yeah. to uh, almost a, an ounce. So you can go through 24 cocktails before you get through uh, that whole thing. Three and we're just going to stir stir and uh, not constrain this. Because yeah, the way I did it was. Nothing to strain. Um, there we are. No, we, we're gonna stir with ice. Okay. I'm gonna put it over fresh ice. The way we did them, uh, we put them, we may have used a little bit of extra, we didn't use as much water as I think you're supposed to use. Yeah, the soda water was a topping of what we did. Yeah. Because we made them as a martini. I don't know where my jewel, I get random stuff over here. The jewel trigger was in your cocktail yeah, bag. Yeah, they're all still in the cocktail bag. Well, whatever. That's where my spoon is too. So all the stuff we used, except for this, because I washed it, is here. I should have washed the spoon too. Um, place that oh. there. Oh, this is a combining glass, huh? So oh, it's it Oh, whoops. Combining Collins glass, top with ice. Oh, we can do that. Look at this. It's combined. That's actually the better way of doing it anyway. Just combine the liquid to get the two ingredients together. Get a bit of binding that way. And then, done. More? Five ounces, so I'm trying to be as accurate as possible. Boom. All right. And it fits. Oh, perfect. Fits. Then we're going to see if we can stir that up. What do we use for gin here? We got the Green Hook Green Gin Smiths, which is, is that a local one? No. no. I don't know where they're from. Dude, I can smell the gin rolling off the top of that. Let me tell you what right now. Let me tell you what. It actually tasted really good, and I'm not a huge gin fan. This will probably be even lighter. We were yeah. drinking them. The way I was making them, I was putting them in a martini glass, yeah. and I was doing no, uh, two, two to and two. Two, no, two, two to three quarter. Yeah, two to three quarter. And then we whatever have, type of liquid. We're, we're stirring water. it and then pouring it in and topping yeah, it with ice. Yeah, I was just stirring it with ice and topping it. The thing is, we didn't use five ounces of club soda, but I also no. stirred it with ice, so it's going to bring up the, the dilution bit. anyway. So a little bit, yeah. It should, this is, I think, still going to be a little weaker. Let's give it a try. Yeah. I could see it being better weaker, actually. Yeah, I don't know. It's got more club soda in it. Um, I like that. I think that's more... It's not weaker, it's lighter. I mean, you still get the elderflower, you still get the gin. You get a lot of gin on the nose. It's not a crazy, like, bitter gin, like a crazy tangeray or whatever, but it is juniper -y. Yeah, you get more, ooh, you get a lot more. You get the quinine get, from the tonic. That's true, yeah. And you're getting the coriander from the, um, from that gin. Um, there's a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. And then, like, a, a mild elderflower aroma. The finish. Elderflower, like if you use a Saint Germain, yeah, it's, it's very strong. You're like, sweet, isn't it? Yeah, it's re it's really sweet, and the elderflower flavor is very strong. So to have something mixed up like this is kind of nice if you want to make a drink like this. Mm -hmm. You can experiment. I mean, you don't have to use it in just gin, but I mean, elderflower typically goes with gin. You know what though? Very well. The ones I was making mm. did not have as much quinine. No. Like I didn't get that quite Well, maybe because I was. I wonder if the seltzer is bringing it out. Is, I think the el the elderflower. Wait a minute, I was drinking a little. You were drinking a little bit. Is gin smith juniper forward or more herbal? 
Uh, Jismith has definitely got the herbal juniper thing. I think it's got a little bit of both. It's got more juniper, I think, than the Plymouth we were using. Yeah, I think so. I feel. Uh, that was pretty subtle. This one's got a little bit more striking. I like the gin. I like this brand of gin. Yeah, I don't have any affiliation with it or anything. I don't even know where you can buy it. They sent it to me for review, and I was like, damn. Now, this is an American dry gin, so yeah, it's... Yeah, that's a lot more juniper than herbal, I think. Well, I mean, juni it. Juniper is herbal. No, no. Oh, yeah. Jun juniper is the... the that is herbal. the most juniper forward American dry gin I think I've ever had. Like, yeah. usually they have more of an orange peel yeah. or something. That has definitely more of a, more of a, more ju a juniper draw. Uh, it's good, though. And dry. I like it. Which... I like it in this. works well with this. Actually. It works well with the quinine, I think. There, yeah, you're getting... I think Jennifer's going to like the other drink better than this one. I think the soda water... He's drawing more of the tonic. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's the, it's the same. All I know I is when the, I was drinking I think these, it's the tonic and the juniper playing well together. I was just... I was When we were playing cards, we were playing Texas Hold'em, I was so involved in like the whole experience that this was kind of like a... I wasn't sitting there reviewing it, sipping it. Like, right. If you do it like a normal human does, which is what we were doing, you say, like, hey, let's make drinks. What are we doing? I don't know. This is easy. Let's make that. Yeah. yeah. And then, then you have it. It's fine. Yeah, it was great. It was really good. It definitely feels to me now that there's more quinine, but it could have just been the, the attitude. It could have been that there was food involved, and there was yeah. drinking involved, and there was sweets and poker. And yeah. Well, maybe that's, that could be. Yeah, I guess that is the same. You can I think see I'm the, just kind of uh, getting used to it because we didn't have a lot of. Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, okay. Oh, so I, thought, I thought I saw New York on there. Uh, I. All right, so of course, this is because as part of my movement to, to branch out awesome drinks and the show. As kind of more crafty, I mean, we, we've done a lot of drinks here, and Tough drinks. I've kind of learned a lot of stuff since Thousands. the first. I mean, I, my original Long Island, no, my original Amaretto Sour, and some of those we used like a jar of sour mix, like whatever. I don't know. You don't know, uh, yeah. but now you do. The beauty of having these, and the reason I wanted to kind of focus on those at Awesome Drinks were products like this. These, besides the guys know what they're doing, and I'd love to create one of these type of craft cocktail products for myself. It's a whole lot easier when somebody does all the, the knowledge. They've yeah. figured it all out and they're like, this is a product that's awesome. You're like, you're right, why do I want to create this? You guys already did. That's good. I just have to figure out how to use it. That's part Boom. of the whole evolution here. Of, uh, if you're a cocktail person, you're gonna evolve. You're gonna start out with one cocktail that you like and that got you, t got you into cocktails. Right. Same with you, you start out doing cocktails and you like learn more as you went. And this is different than my time. Your your base of knowledge is significantly greater than it was before. Right. Because you've played with it and you've done things with it. And it this is kind of more upper class, but you don't have to put a lot of work in. No, so no, no. It's is there a question, Dave? There is yes, one. Yes, right. I was about to say it, but you were talking. Okay. What's on question today? Uh, in a previous episode, Derek was talking about someone who is known to go to strip clubs at the end of the night and pays for everyone. Do yeah. you know someone who is just as reckless? <laughs> I thought that was the. Uh, what were we talking about? Where, there was a bottle. That was, that was uh, Liquor 43. That was Liquor 43. <laughs> liquor 43 is a stripper. Dude, that's, our, that's going in my outtakes for the, the <laughs> next season of outtakes that I'm going to do. There you go. Um, so was that question towards this? Oh, do no, other people know somebody? Yeah. That was a question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> the question of the day, do you know anybody that likes to go to strip clubs and or other things like that and, and just pays for everybody while they're there? I know that everybody typically, not everybody, but I know people I mean, who have like stories of that one guy. I know someone who's reckless right? in that exact same way. We went up... So we went up for our fishing trip, annual fishing trip in Northern Maine, and it was uh, me, Dr. Plummer, and two of his buddies from New York at the time. And so I mentioned that Bangor has a casino and a strip club now. So Eric was like, let's go. He's the only one who really wanted to go. He talked Bangor. us into going. So he goes to the casino, he blows 500 bucks on blackjack in like two minutes, Holy pulls crap. out another 500 bucks, starts losing it, and then Ed comes over, he's like, Is okay, he rich? I don't know. No. <laughs> I don't know. He, that does help. He, he always seems to have enough money, I guess. If you have a rich friend, doesn't so, have to do that. So then his, the other guy came in and saved him from himself. So he pulled away 500 bucks and You're not that. And then we went that. to the strip club and he blew it all on strippers. So he was giving everybody well, money to give to the But the difference person. is, in one case, he lost it when he went home with nothing. Now he gets to go home with herpes. No, it's, it didn't even get that. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even get that one? Waste! It's a strip club, not a brothel. There's a oh. difference. <laughs> What's on Derek floor? You look, but don't touch. <laughs> well, do let me explain. Dr. Plummer is not a plumber. His last name is Plummer and he's a doctor. So therefore, so people ask what was on my floor in the in the chat. So I have that pomegranate and the spitters. Yeah, I, I've, I've, have you tried this? Is this open? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, not too long here. There we I'm go. Back down here. What's on my floor? I've got. We're not having 15 minute episodes dog anymore. Dog fur. Oh, that's Ennis. Ennis heavy. I got my fever tree sampler pack. I'm gonna be making some drinks with these eventually. 
So we have Fever Tree Tonics. Oh yeah, and, uh, we used the tonic on one. one of the drinks a while ago. And it smells yeah. like anise. Oh, that's you. I'm like, why does it smell like anise? Yep, that's definitely you. Uh, so that's what's on my floor today. It's pretty good. I like that. I people like to know what is the random besides the you dog. You can tell hair. it was on the floor because of this. Because the dog it's hair. got dog hair. Uh, and I like to store things on my floor because you run out of shelf space. Because I run out of shelf space. All right. Um, that's it. That's what's Final, on the floor. Uh, last thing I want to ask is, do you, do you guys would you guys be more willing to buy products like this if there was a recipe provided for you? If we said, look, elderflower G and T, boom, you just make this, buy this, you can make the recipe 25 times and you're good. Or do you really need a variety of recipes? Well, I'm the thing is, if you have a recipe to start with, you can start branching out with that yeah. as a base, which is cool too. You and can just can modify it. Yeah, modify it. A little bit. Make it your own. All right. Cool. We're done. AwesomeDrinks.com for this stuff. The tonic. Recipe submitted by Jack Rudy because I just yep. took it off the bottle. And you know what? I just bought some before the show started because He's I'm be bringing that tonight. to the drinking place tonight. So <laughs> nice. We're going to be making eat. some of those. Awesome. All right. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs> Make it sound like I was asking a question. <laughs> yes, you did, actually. Yes. Oh. I was kind of just using an inflection. Done! No, it's the groaning! No, it's the groaning. Oh my god, it's gonna be awful!